Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 17 in chapter 29. Chapter 29 is about electromagnetic induction and Faraday's law. So there you can see the magnetic field is perpendicular to a single loop of copper, right? The copper wire. And then this magnetic field changes from 0 0.75 Tesla to 0. So you can use the final. 0 minus initial 0 0.7, you get answer there. Next one, if the wire's diameter is given, so we write it there, and the wire's, the Cooper's diameter is given, see, there are two diameters. First the diameter is about the loop, so this is this one, right? Yes, so this one, D loop. And then what is the diameter for the wire? See, this is this one. Because this is a wire, so this is diameter. Now, how much charge moves past a point in the coil during this operation? See? Uh, in there, we need to find the charge just uh, moves one point in this uh, coil, right? In this uh, loop. So that means we use the current times the RT. Agree? So where does this current come from? This current is induced current. We can use the induced EMF divided by resistance for this loop. Do you agree? Yes. And uh, next question. Um, how can you find the resistance for this uh, loop? We use uh, rho times L divided by A, cross-sectional errors for these wires, right? For this wire. So L is the length for this loop. For this wire, see length for this wire is just a pi times the diameter for the loop, right? So this is the length for this circle. And the A of the wire, this one is cross-sectional errors for this wire, pi r squared. So you can use the r radius as a diameter divided by 2, so you can just uh, reorganize it, get the term there, so we put it there, r. Next one, how can you get the epsilon? Induce the EMF, that is a change magnetic influence divided by time taking. Do you agree? Yes. So this change magnetic field come from the change of magnetic field times the cross-sectional errors for this loop. Agree? So now the A loop is a pi r squared, right? So this is a diameter loop squared divided by 4, right? Yes. Agree? Now you input epsilon and r in this function there see it looks like this one we organize it look like this one right now come back the chart is current times 30 so current times 30 the term the equation becomes this one the function looks like this one and input all the given quantities you can get the answer there thank you